Hey guys, this is Agent Mindstorm, and welcome back to the Pillars. Last episode we built that hallway down there, and as you can see, it looks way, way better. That's because in between episodes I put a lot of work into it, and it doesn't look like a weirdly shaped tunnel anymore, it actually looks kind of good. And now the ladder down still needs some work, obviously, but it's getting there. This whole thing is definitely getting there. It's looking better and better every episode. And this whole island, the wait, let's go back up to the top of that pillar. There was a reason I started up there. I wanted to show you guys everything we've done. Every few episodes, I go up to the top of one, one of the pillars, usually this one, and then look at everything. Because the amount of progress we've made is insane. So let's get to the top here. And now we're at the very top. Good, good, good. As you can see, we've got the spawning platform, the four pillars, the center, the mob spawner, the nether portal, the end portal, the, uh, our house, the animal farms, we got a horse, which I'll explain soon, tree farm, another farm, we've got like block farm area, and then yeah, it's just, we have built so much in this world, guys, and it's really, really crazy. Now this episode I wanted to work on just little odds and ends, really, like little things that I haven't gotten around to doing until now, and that would include making a lava platform under the chicken pen, which is where we're going to start, because there have been a lot of chickens that just spawn and go all the way down, all the way down, all the way down to the bottom, and it's really annoying because then they're down there permanently. So yeah, I really wish they wouldn't do that. Oh, here's a baby chicken. Okay, so... I think the first thing we need to do is probably head to the nether and grab some lava out of the pillars. So, this could be dangerous, but I think we can handle it. So, yeah, okay, okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. So, uh, um, that one's got lava that we can easily take, it's already accessible. So if we die here, that would not be fun. Let's, um, just... There we go, one bucket. And now, I guess we can just grab one from this pillar right here. So that's good. Uh, let's kill you, thank you. So, just break... I... Let's eat some mutton first. I don't see any ghasts, which is a very good sign, because if there were ghasts... That would just be horrible. And we probably would be dead already. And I still can't grab the lava. Okay. Now, please, 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 thank you, okay. So that should be all the lava we need to be able to kill all the chickens who fall down. So, let's head back through the portal, and guys, I would like to say something that's really cool. This is one of my few worlds that actually successfully transfers to the bedrock version, and on that version, of course, you can play with a mouse and keyboard, so if we do eventually switch over to that version, which is not going to happen anytime soon, by the way, if we were to eventually switch, I would... What are you doing? Why are you here? Yeah, but I would use a mouse and keyboard because that would make it just so much easier for me to play and probably better for you to watch, too. So, we have some raw chicken here. Let's take that. Let's take our raw mutton back. And we've got two buckets of lava and we need to get water. So where can we pour this lava for now? Where is non- Oh! This pillar over here. That's perfect. This pillar right here, uh... Oh, there could be some mob spawning. We don't want that. So, we gotta do this fast. So, right over here, just come to this side. Just place it all the way over there. And I think we're good. Oh, 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 stuff spawning. Stuff spawning. Now, since we're on hard difficulty, everything does a lot of damage. Just run away. Just run away. And now, guys, I should probably explain the horse that's over there. So, in between the ep episodes, I went up to the top of that pillar to check if anything had spawned, and believe it or not, something had spawned. But it was a horse. Like, that's the last thing I need in this series, a horse. So it spawns up there, and I put try to push it down, and then it just falls down, like the first cow that we tried to push down. It just falls down, and then, surprisingly, it doesn't die, because you know horses have a bunch of health. So, basically, the horse survived, and then I tried to tame it. A lot. Now the issue with this was that, of course, horses, when you're trying to tame you, they buck you off and they knock you off. And apparently, 
I didn't know this, but apparently on the console versions, it's kind of bugged right now because they're supposed to buck you off to the nearest land. But that one kept knocking me into the void. So I died repeatedly in between episodes trying to tame a pointless horse. So yeah. That happened. But also, uh, I should probably show the portal hallway too because I really didn't do too much like in between episodes showing stuff. Because I did quite a bit and it would be a shame to not show. So first let's grab some wood though for the project that we're working on. So let's just grab some oak planks. There we go. Now, as you can see, this these floors were all done already, but I've added another floor right here, which is going to be the enchanting room. If you notice, it's one block actually smaller, just just one block than this room up there. So this is because the enchanting room would fit perfectly in here. And then down another floor, this is going to be a fish farm room, but I don't have it built at all. And then down here, you can see the tunnel's too wide. And why is that? Well, it's so that you can drop like this into the water. So I put some water down here. I think that's the best way we, we're going to get it to look because it's, it saves me every time. Then we got the nice little hallway here that just ends at the end portal. And I've decided to do this to get up there. If you guys don't like that, tell me in between episodes. I mean, in the comments, not in between episodes. Tell me in the comments if you don't like that or if you do because I would love to hear if that's a good solution. So now let's head back up and work on the chicken death platform. Yeah. Working name. Maybe we should call it the chicken platform of death? The roasted chicken? I don't know. I really don't know what I should call it, but whatever. So now let's head over here. Let's come to our water that we just poured all the way down to the void. Now there should also be a bunch of chickens on the bottom of the world, I just realized, but maybe I'll like clear them out in between episodes because clearing them out in, in episode could take quite a bit. So we're going to put it down here, guys, and that's because if we put it down here, then we can be sure that no nothing will accidentally burn, because this is going to be lava, of course. Lava is deadly. And, um, yeah, so we just need to make sure that nothing would burn by accident. So, I think we need to make it go out to the corners and then one block further. Because, yeah, we just need to make sure that no chickens will accidentally get down to the void below. Because... We don't want them taking up the spawn limit down there. That's the main issue here, guys. They're taking up the spawn limit down below bo the void where we can't even use them for anything. So we're making this platform here to fix that issue. Now, if we were on any other version of Minecraft, the void would be a real void. And then it would actually stuff would actually fall into it. And we wouldn't have to worry about this because there would be no spawn caps. But the combination of both of those makes for a very unfortunate experience with the pillars. So, also guys, since MCPEDL has been really weird, and it hasn't acknowledged my submission at all, even though it's got, like, a bunch of other submissions done. I don't understand what's going on there, but basically, guys, I'm probably just gonna give the direct link to the Pillars download if they don't put it up soon, because, um, it would just be in the description of this video, probably, actually. Uh, yeah, so the lava's gonna do that if we don't put walls, so I guess we should quickly go make some stone- some more stone slabs. And also, the last thing I really didn't talk about was this right here. This chest is so that if it's at nighttime and I see an enderman, I can quickly put all my stuff in here so that I won't lose anything if I die, and then I fight the enderman, because usually I die when I'm fighting enderman, uh, especially on this, and if something falls off the world, it's gone forever. That's the way it is. So what I did is I put that chest there so whenever I see an enderman, before fighting him, I just store all my stuff so I don't have to worry about losing everything. It's a very nice solution, and I'm very glad that I came up with it. So, yeah, because I was finding that when I died, I was always trying to be super careful to not be in a position where my stuff would go flying off the edge, and that was just too difficult to battle the dragon like that. So... Guys, something else that's pretty crazy about this channel is on the poll in my 1,000 subscriber special about whether I should use a new skin or not. Well, the new skin is winning so far. So, this might very well be my last video with this skin right here. This might be the last one. Does anyone else think that that's really crazy, or is that just me? Because I think that's really crazy, and it just... I don't know, it's just, this could be my last time ever having this Ender Eye skin, and instead I'll have the End Zealot, which I, I kind of like more, if we're honest here, but... Yeah, I'm just very, very...
very surprised, I guess I would say. Because usually, people are opposed to change, no matter what kind of change it is. But people actually want me to change my skin. Like, majority of people who at least voted on the poll said that they wanted me to change my skin. Now, guys, I won't make the verdict until my next Let's Play episode on Saturday. So if you haven't voted on the poll in the 1,000 subscriber special, do it now. It's your last chance to really have an impact on this channel. And if you guys don't like the skin, then vote that. But here's the thing, guys. I think at this point, I'm probably already going to change to that skin. So if you feel like it, go vote. And unless it's an overwhelming majority that it turns out that don't want the new skin, then I'll stick with the old one. But I think that I speak for most of my subscribers. When I say that the new skin looks really cool, and I actually quite like how it looks, I just think it would be really an upgrade, essentially. So, that's just my opinion, though. If Of course, I'm not trying to influence your votes or anything, you know. But, is this gonna work? Uh, no. We might need more lava. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need two more lavas. That's all the lava in the world! We cannot mess this up. If we mess this up, there's no chance of ever getting it again. So, okay, let's do that. I don't think we messed that up, so luckily we're not in that position yet. Uh, let's put this block here, and now let's break these, I guess, just temporarily we'll have these broken. And, uh, yeah, now, guys, we are almost done with one of the more difficult goals, which is the one that involves getting a pig, a cow, a sheep, and a chicken. All we need now is a pig, and we'll be done, and it'll be great. But until then, we're just waiting for a little piggy to spawn up there so that we can bring him down and prepare him for slaughter. I mean, to get my goal, yeah. So, we should probably get the other lava first, and then put it down there, because I won't have enough buckets if I don't. Gotta do that first, yeah, that's probably pretty important, so... Right over here, lava bucket, and just grab that. There we go. Now we're going to head to the nether and... Uh, wait, no, 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 no. We don't want to do that yet. The nether is the last thing we do after we've put the lava down. And whoa, things are dying. Yeah, this series would be both positively and negatively impacted if we switch to the bedrock version. Because the positive would be that we've got no spawn limit, the void's a real void... And, like, just other little small things. And, like, the disadvantages, though, still kind of outweigh the neg the um, positives, in my opinion. So, until they fix, just really, guys, all I'm waiting for now, they added a sprint button. They're, they're really, really trying hard to make this, the other version, just like this one. All I'm really waiting for is a fixed crafting menu and, um, like, other menus to be fixed. That's really all I care about at this point. And if they do that, I think I will definitely th switch over once they add the curse enchantments and stuff. But, like, this world could benefit so much by certain things. And I just wish that they would fix the menus already. Like, make a crafting system for a controller already, guys, please. Mojang, Mo, Mo Yang, Mo, I don't care. If you're watching, which you aren't, but if you were, I would tell you fix the menus before you do anything else. <gasps> oh, oh, no, 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 no no, 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 is our bucket, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my goodness, guys, we are the luckiest people ever, did you see that, all of our stuff, everything, all of it, was on the platform, what? What? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We didn't lose anything. That was so horrible. I thought we lost both of our buckets and the lava. Ah. <sighs> ah. <sighs>
<sighs> oh my goodness, guys. That was the most lucky thing that has happened in the history of this series. Okay, guys, so if you're wondering what happened there, I thought that I could be fast enough to outrun the lava and then grab it with a bucket quickly. Well, I was wrong. Turns out lava, I forgot that lava in the nether is super fast. So I burned to death, but everything fell in the perfect position. And we didn't lose anything. Oh my gosh. That was the luckiest I've ever been in this game. And that includes the episode in my series where we found the Mending One and Enchanted Golden Apple in a chest. Ah! Oh, how? Uh-oh. Uh, we're not gonna mess with this nether. Where are the ghasts? So there was one over here. Right? Yeah, we don't like him. Where's the other ghast? I could have sworn I heard another ghast. He's all the way out there. I think we're safe. Okay, I'm gonna disable autosave because I don't want to have to go through that again. If something bad happens, guys, I... Mm, I know I made the rule against exiting without saving. But I might have to go... Okay, so we're just gonna be really careful here. Um, I don't think it, yeah, it doesn't flow out if you, I was just one block wrong there. I, oh my gosh, oh my, we, mm. okay, this is like some lucky nether or something, because we just had two, well, we had one death experience and one near death experience, and neither time it was bad. We just almost died to a ghast if we hadn't moved a second earlier. We just almost had so many things happen. But we've completed our goal of making an automatic chicken death machine. And it, when you look at it, really, it's kind of silly. Because everything that's happened was for a chicken death platform. All of that craziness. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is the luckiest nether I have ever seen. I just cannot get over the fact that we haven't lost anything. Oh my. It's just, I don't know how we ha didn't fail. We built the chicken death platform. These chickens should not escape. So see that dude? See that dude right there? This one right here? Well, if he were to say, fall off or something... Well, that didn't prove my point very well, did it? But if he were to fall off... Oh, I forgot they have... I'll sort that out in between episodes. I'll go down there and kill all those chickens. Every one of them. But for now, guys, I'm gonna have to conclude this amazingly lucky episode right here. Because we did it! We built the platform. It works. Well, we haven't tested, but it should work. So for now, I do want to tell you all. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later.